Hello friends, I am Najam Ali. Today, I shall discuss about a poultry disease. You see various types of disease in chicken. Which disease you see in chicken? These diseases are bacterial disease, viral disease, fungal disease, mycotoxicosis, parasitic disease, nutritional disease, and miscellaneous disease of poultry. But today, I shall discuss about a poultry disease like infectious coryza. Infectious coryza is a bacterial disease. Infectious coryza is a serious bacterial disease of chicken which affects the respiratory system of chicken. Now I shall discuss about the etiology of infectious coryza. Infectious coryza is caused by a bacteria of pest urulacea family. The name of the bacteria is Epibacterium paragalenrum. Epibacterium paragalenrum bacteria are gram negative, non molite, and polar staining bacteria. The source of the infection are carrier bars. The disease can spread through water, ear, and feet. Now, I shall discuss about the host of infectious coryza. The disease is mostly found in young adult chickens. In India, it is more common in areas of high altitude like Bihar. But may occur elsewhere, especially in cold damp weather. It has been reported in Madhya Pradesh. Now I shall discuss about the symptom of infection scoraja. Infection scoraja may occur in birth of any age, but the symptoms are prominent in young adults. The acute form of infectious coryza may pass off in about 10 to 12 days on affected farm, but the chronic form of infectious coryza may exist for several weeks or months. There is a smelling discharge from nostrils, eyes. Eyes are inflamed and become closed. What else may be swollen? There may be difficulty in breathing. The face and the wattle may be swollen. There may be sneezing and dyspnea. The egg production may drop by 10 to 40 percent. Now I shall discuss about the diagnosis of infectious coryza. Pointed adder of nasal exudates helps in diagnosis. For field diagnosis, prepare smears from nose or eyes. On examination of smear, gram negative bipolar filamentous and cocoid organisms may be found. Then I shall discuss about the treatment of infectious coryza sulfa chloropyridazine and tamethoprim are are the combination of drug of choice it is easily soluble in drinking water sulfa diazine and tamethoprim sulfa thiazol and tamethoprim sulfa dimidine ampicillin mycomulin tiamulin erythromycin Xanthamycin, anaphylaxacin, levophylaxacin are other effective drugs for mass treatment of poultry. Now I shall discuss about the prevention of infectious coryza. All in and all out program is better for preventing the disease of poultry. Mixing bars of different edges or species helps the disease onset. Other preventive measures are if the disease affects a layer flock, it is better to start with fresh stock. 
since the carrier bars do exist even after recovery second preventive measures is the coastal bacteria are fragile they are killed in 2 minutes at 55 degrees celsius in 6 hours at room temperature and few days in winter temperature third prevention measure is cleanliness and good management can prevent the disease may be left vacant for 30 to 60 days before reuse or use one week after disinfection. Fourth preventive measure is keep the density of the bar to minimum. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Please subscribe my channel, like, comment and share for new new